Hello everyone, this is Sudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to my new video on Flow Query Language or FQL. This Flow Query Language or FQL is used in Postman Flow to parse and transform a complex JSON structure to get the information that you need. It's a very powerful feature that came along with Postman Flow. So without any further delay, let's jump in and see some examples. So before I start, I'd like to let you know if you are new to the Postman flow, please check out my YouTube playlist where I keep on publishing new contents about Postman flow. So here I am in my Postman workspace. So I start by creating a flow. Every flow starts with this start node. From here, what I'll do, I'll create a send request node. And here I'm going to use one of the API which is already configured. And then I am going to paste that output in a block which is called output. So let's go and execute this flow first. And as you can see, this is the output that came from this API. If I open the body, you can see it's actually gave me a list where each of the element of the list contains this information. So as you can see, it's already a very complex JSON structure. And in this tutorial, I'll be using this JSON structure to find out few information. So first, let's say from this JSON structure, I want to print the information amount or let's say year. How can I do that? What I will do, let's from here, I will create an evaluate block. And this is the place where I can use my flow query language. So the value, let me choose the value only body. I don't want anything because here it will give you body and HTTP, all this thing. But I want to only get information from what I'm getting inside this body. So value one is body and inside body, I am mainly interested about from information. So what I can do here, this is the place where I will write my flow query language. So I will write value one dot, let's say from, and then this is the place where it will, this is output. And if I paste the output here, I'm expecting it will print CAD CAD. So if I execute, I'm getting CAD CAD. Now, as you can see, I've already parsed a very complex JSON structure and get one information out of that. Similarly, if I want only year information, I can do that here by type year and run again. It will give me the year information, which is 2022. Let's see some complex examples now. We'll keep this here. Let me a little organize this one. Okay, looks very good. Okay, now let's say, let's open this result again. Now under this two, right, I'm getting USD, which is basically a list. And then under that, I am getting all this information like monthly average, what is the month, what is the days in month and all this thing. It's actually giving me a monthly average conversion rate between Canadian dollar and American dollar. So for example, this one is giving me that is for the month of one, which is January number of day, days is 31. And this is the monthly average for month of February number of days is 21. And this is the monthly average. So let's say I don't want all this information only what I need. I want to prepare a list from this JSON structure, which will give me only the monthly averages. I don't want all this information. How can I do that? We can easily do that with our flow query language. So let's put one more here. And again, I'll put body. And here I'll put, this is the place where I'm writing my query language. Dot to dot USD dot monthly average. And now I am going to paste that here in the output section. And let's execute that again. This time you can see here, this is how I have fetched only the monthly averages. That's one way. 
So let's see the next example. From this entire JSON structure, I want to see the average of all these numbers. How can I do that? So I'll start with another evaluate block. Here in the value, I'll pass body. And here, if you press dollar, that's the time when you will find all the options, all the mathematical things or all the things that you can do. So I want to take advantage of average and inside average, I am going to pass like value one dot two dot USD dot and my monthly average. And then when I'll print that in the output, it will give me the average of all these numbers, which is 0.769. Isn't it cool? Similar way, I can, instead of average, I can make a count. Like I want to find out how many monthly averages are there, right? And I can do the same thing. Let's clear that and run. So I'm expecting 12 because there are total 12 monthly averages. I can do all this thing. I can create a sum, which will create the sum of all the monthly averages. And let's run that. It will give me the summation of all these values. So that's cool. What about, can I do some logical operation? So for example, I want to see monthly averages only from month of June. How can I do that? Let's, I'll start with one evaluate block. And here I will pass to USD and this time I will put value one and here is the logic. Here I'll put where month is greater than equals to six and I want to print the monthly average. Not the month, month. I want to print the monthly average and then let's print that in the output section. Let's run this flow again. And as you can see, this time it only show me the monthly averages starting from June. That's why you are seeing only the six values. Another quick thing, how can we sort this value based on the monthly average? We can easily do that with the sort function. For that, let's start with the evaluate block again. And here I will go to USD. And here I will choose sort value one, yep. And then from here, I'll output that, output the result. And if I run now, you can see that this values, all the 12 values are basically sorted. There are a lot of things that you can do with this flow query language. I'll put the link of the official documentation in the description of this video. Please go and check that out and start using that in your Postman flow. Please let me know what is your use case and how you are using flow query language in your Postman flow. I hope this video is helpful. Please hit the like icon and share and please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.